Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to EGW Saturday Night Showdown, Episode 7. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome C M Punk. C M Punk made one of the greatest debuts in wrestling history. Definitely the greatest debut in EGW history, where he debuted as a surprise entrant in the Fatal Four Way Number One Contenders match. He did lose that match. But he had a great showing in that match, and that debut was something special. Do I have everybody's attention now? I sure got a full hell of a lot of that blood bath. Where I made my EGW debut in the Fatal 4-Way number one contenders match. And sure, I did lose that match, but I have a bigger plan, and I'll get to that later. Right now, I just want to say how happy I am to be in this company in front of all of you. All you wrestling fans are the reason I get out of bed and put my body on the line. I do it for all of you because you are some of the most passionate people on the planet. Wrestling fans are the most passionate people on the planet. And while you know I'm not any stranger to extreme wrestling, because I was in ECW and you could argue that I wouldn't be where I am today without ECW. So I am very happy to be here in EGW. Is there all the great fans out there? And I have a great boss over there. Xander, my man, what's up? Pays me very, very well. And I've said before that I don't like to make friends, I like to make money. Speaking of money, let's talk some big money matches. How about CM Punk versus Seth Freakin' Rollins, the former EGW World Champion? What do you guys think? I'll take that as a yes. But how about CM Punk versus John Cena once again? Another good one is CM Punk versus Cody Rhodes. Oh yeah, you guys like the sound of that too, don't you? Well, how about CM Punk versus Kenny Omega? Oh yeah, you guys like the sound of that, but I bet he doesn't. He's just a spoiled little kid. Like I said, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make money. Or what about CM Punk versus MJF for the world title? But right now, let's see if any of these guys accept. Because... I'm laying out an open challenge for the main event battleground because MJF is not going to defend his world title because he's defending at World United against Drew McIntyre. So, 
I'm gonna main event in my hometown of Chicago, Illinois. So let's let's see who my opponent is. CM Punk laying out an open challenge to anyone in the locker room for the main event of Battleground. The main event. Oh my god! No way! No way! No! No! I thought CM Punk's debut was big. This, this, this is happening on an episode of Saturday Night Showdown, everyone. Oh my god, he's here! Oh my god, Stone Cold Steve Austin, the king of the Attitude Era, has, I believe, accepted the challenge of CM Punk. What world are, are we living in, ladies and gentlemen? Oh my god. This is like five debuts in the span of one week. That's insane. Steve, I'm sure as hell was not expecting you. It's kind of crazy how this whole thing started out because of a video game here. And then the match never happened. But it's happening right now, I guess. Oh God, was always a fan of yours. You knew how to talk, and you could go in this ring too. And you were a guy who made me wish I didn't retire in 2003. So accepting this challenge was a no-brainer. But punk in Chicago, I'm gonna whoop your ass in front of your own people. I'm gonna buy a deep dish. And I'm gonna shove it up your ass. And I'm gonna hit you with a few stunners. I'm gonna get Pepsi. And then I'm gonna pour it over your dead body. Then after the show, I'm gonna go to the bar. I'm gonna drink some beer, some tequila, some more beer, some whiskey, and then some more beer. Then I'm gonna drive my drunk ass home, and then I'm gonna go to bed. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Wow. That was absolutely insane. Stone Cold sending a message to CM Punk in his debut. What a what a debut promo from Stone Cold Steve Austin. But who would expect anything less? Well, Kane got me again, huh? He returned and cost me the Fatal Four Way match at Bloodbath. I beat him fair and square at Winter Warfare and he, he, he doesn't care he still wants revenge well guess what Kane I want revenge too I thought this chapter of the story was completed I guess it's not well we'll be completed at Battleground so Kane I'll see you there and I promise I'll end you for good Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EGW Saturday Night Showdown. And we are preparing for Dominic Mysterio versus Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar stopped Dominic from going outside and a big German suplex. And now Brock with another one. And now he might be thinking a third here. Yes, he is. Wait, he's still going? 
Usually just a three, now a fourth by Brock. And now a fifth German suplex. And now rolls through once again for another German. That's six. And then seven by Brock. Oh my god, poor Dom. Actually, I don't feel bad. That's eight. And then nine. Oh, nine German suplexes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Dominic Mysterio is dead. <laughs> oh my. And now Brock picking Dominic Mysterio up. And Brock Lesnar with the F5 into the One, cover. That's it. Two, three. Yep, there we go. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. Dominant performance by Brock Lesnar here tonight. Nine German suplexes and an F5 to Dominic Mysterio. Oh man, Dominic's gonna have to go crying to his mommy after that. God damn. Oh, but Samoa Joe! Samoa Joe from behind! Corkina Clutch! Corkina Clutch! It's locked in! It's locked in to Brock Lesnar. Brock looks vulner vulnerable for once in his career. For once in his life. Oh my god. Samoa Joe has that in deep. Oh, and he lets go. He knows he could he could have made Brock Lesnar tap out with that. He just wants to he just wants to wait. He just wants to wait. And that's Samoa Joe has him has him up. Muscle Buster! Samoa Joe making a statement over Brock Lesnar here tonight. Oh my god. Torquilla Clutch and a Muscle Buster. The Beast might have met his match. Now Roman Reigns, I know you want an answer on why I attacked you at Bloodbath and cost you the Fatal 4-Way match. Well, a lot of people have been getting revenge in this company lately, so I thought I would join in. Roman, you beat me down to a bloody pulp at Winter Warfare, and I could barely even walk the next day. So I knew I needed to stop you from getting a shot at the EGW World Championship. And now, Roman, this is no longer about being the Tribal Chief. This is about getting revenge and beating you till you can't breathe anymore. So I am officially challenging you to a match at Battleground. And Roman, I know you like sticking this finger up a lot. Well, you can take this finger, shine it up real nice, turn it sideways, and stick it straight up your candy. Challenge accepted, bitch. Welcome back to EGW Saturday Night Showdown, and unfortunately, the Undisputed Era is in the way. Well, last weekend was a fantastic one for us. We won every time possible. We got a new name, which is awesome. And then we went to the bar after, we got something to drink. But most importantly, we got a new member. Adam, the floor is yours. Thanks, Max. Now, the, the decision to join the Undisputed Era was an incredibly easy one. I had my best friend with me after all, and two great young talent. I was waiting very patiently for my AEW contract to expire so I can join EGW. So I did just that. I debuted at Bloodbath, whooped Triple H's ass, and won this title. And then I helped Max cash in his money in the bank briefcase to win his EGW World title. And then the future, well, then future. Now they are the Undisputed Era. We are all the Undisputed Era. They won the EGW Tag Team titles. And, and well, Max, earlier in the night, beat that shameful boss. That loser of a boss, Xander over there. Yeah, hi, how are you? Bitch. Um, so now we are here to 
dominate AGW as the Undisputed Era, and we are going to hold all these titles forever. And if that loser boss over there decides to introduce new titles, we'll get those too. Don't worry. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right, Adam. We will win every single new title there is to win. If there even are any new titles. And the Undisputed Era's dominance will start with Drew McIntyre at World United. And then Adam Cole, baby, will defeat Kevin Owens at Battleground because I spoke to him earlier and Kevin Owens, he accepts your challenge. And then Theory and Bronson will run the tag division and defeat every single tag team there is. And entirely, we are here to shock the... Yes, Drew McIntyre is here to stop all this. Let's go. Oh my god. I could not handle that anymore. Jeez, thank god Drew is here. Oh my. Boys, you can get out of the ring. I can handle this over myself. Jeez, there really is no limit for MJF, man. No limit at all. Max, you're a whole lot younger than me. So I'm gonna explain something to you. Running your mouth like you do is not gonna get you far in life. Neither are your dirty ass tactics. You just had everything handed to you. But look at your AEW World title win. You used the chip that you did not win yourself. And then in that match, Regal had to bring out his brass knuckles so you can cheat to win. And same with the EGW world title. You won the Money in the Bank briefcase. And you, you just took the opportunity from all the other great superstars in that match. You waited till everyone was down. You knocked out the whole match. You didn't do a damn thing that whole match. And then when you cashed in that very briefcase, you had to cheat to win that too. Adam Cole had to help you, because you couldn't do it yourself, even when Kevin Owens was beat to hell. I've worked so hard for so many damn years. I got fired from WWE, came back, won the Royal Rumble, and I beat Brock Lesnar in the main event of WrestleMania in front of absolutely nobody. I never got that title back. And I've never performed as WWE Champion or won a championship in front of any people. So you don't deserve a damn thing. As I said, I've worked so hard for absolutely nothing. You haven't worked and you haven't worked hard at all for everything. I get that life's not fair. But you will not be champion for long, long, long words. Do you really think that you deserve everything? You worked hard. I get it. But just trying to get this sick with you isn't going to get you anywhere. Look where I am. No one's ever had sympathy for me. Hell, my boss over there hates me. None of these fans respect me. Only those three over there respect me and have sympathy for me. You really think I haven't worked hard, huh? People have hated me all my life. I overcame the odds, and right now I'm standing here as EGW World Champion. That's working hard, Drew. And I know you worked hard in a different way. But the thing is, everyone's liked you. Well, not everybody, but you know what I mean. More people have liked you than they've liked me. You're widely respected in that locker room. And I have to earn respect, which is the hardest thing that I, I, I have to do in life. So I did work hard for this. And the AEW World Title Tour. And at World United, 
I'm gonna overcome the odds again and beat you. I'll do whatever it takes to win in that match and retain this title. And I'll do it because I'm better than you and you know it. Wow, what a promo battle between these two. Oh my god, Kevin Owens! Wait, that, that's Kevin Owens! Kevin Owens with a punch to the face and a super kick to Austin Theory and a jumping clothesline to Bronson Reed. Sending a message to Adam Cole. MJF is so shocked. He is so shocked. Oh my god, Claymore by Drew! Claymore by Drew! Oh my god! Wow! Claymore! That knocked MJF out. And th will this be the sign? Will this be the sight, excuse me, at Worlds United?